Hey guys, so I am actually at work. I forgot I didn't record an intro for this video. So just so you know, this is going to be me picking up from an online estate auction and then I did stop at a yard sale and yeah, it's just going to be some show and tell. We'll go through what I got and I'm just going to share with you guys. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we are here picking up. I have this awesome wood carved statue there, some teacups, and I'm gonna go grab the rest of the stuff. I'll show you guys once we get home, but um, this was an online estate auction. They are doing just one person at a time, so totally safe. And we did see a couple garage sales on the way, so we are gonna check those out on the way back. All right, guys, so I already got inside. Um, I did get this really pretty Fenton basket. Um, this is Fenton Black Rose. I did, um, it does have the sticker still. This one is already listed in my eBay store. It is listed where it'll come out at about between five and $600 with the sale. And um, it has sold for up to $600 in the past. I did pay $112 for this, so let's see what happens and i'm gonna go out we're gonna go out to the car now and look at everything else all right so i actually picked up these two blankets at a another yard sale i didn't show it's actually moving sale there was hardly anything there but i got these blankets for three dollars each i'm not sure if i'll sell them or list them they are um sunbeam either full or queen size um so they're heated blankets i think they'll sell well i'm trying not to break stuff here the tape's sticking there all right so this is all of the teacups and the other stuff i got this one i'm not sure because it's not marked so i guess i might have to try and see if i can research this unless somebody knows and then here is this one. This one is Ukuko. I think I looked that up. Let's see. This one is Fine Bone China, Staffordshire, England. That one is pretty. Obviously needs a little cleaning there. And I think all of the teapot or teacups do have matching um, saucers there. There's this one. That one is not marked. So these that aren't marked, I'll have to research them. There's this one. This is that Ukag Co. Made in Japan. I didn't look up any of these because a lot of them didn't have where they were um, made. This one's a really pretty one here. And these I paid, um, this is another Staffordshire. I paid about $4 per set, um, $2 per piece. That one's for the one I already showed you. Here's another one. That one's Sutherland. This one's very pretty. That one is the Ukag Co. There's the cup to go with that one. Here's another one. So a lot of them are this brand. Hopefully this brand's worth something. Um, a lot of times the problem with the online auctions is you cannot see the brands. This one goes with, I think that was, yeah, Staffordshire. And then there's this one. That's another Uka Go. Here's this one. That one's Sutherland. This one's very pretty. 
The all over prints I like, and I think they seem to sell a little bit better. That one's Tuscan, and then that's the cup that goes with it. And then there's those. There's also this one here. This one is Tuscan. I will pop up, so you guys probably have already seen them, some comps for these before I put the video out. This is Orleans Tuscan. And then this one, which the pattern is inside the cup, not on the outside, is Tuscan as well. And there is the plate for that one. That one's very pretty. That's really neat. And then the other thing I got at this auction, I didn't get very much, but I did spend a lot of money, is this really cool wood carved figure. I'm hoping to get several hundred dollars for him. Um, I paid about $40 for him, but he's super cool. He's hand carved. And if you remember, I got a Buddha. I only paid $3 for the Buddha, though. Um, this guy's big, if you see my hand there. Um, and the Buddha sold for $200, so I'm hoping I can get more for him. He is, I think, missing a weapon there, but he has his one weapon on the back side there. So, yeah. So, that's all I got um, from the auction. And then I will show you guys a little bit of footage from a garage sale and then I'll show you what I picked up there. Alright, so all of this was in the bag. I've emptied half of it and then we'll go get the other half. But I paid $10 for all of this plus my mom got a clock radio. So I got this Cranberry Collection Molly Berry. Um, this Fisher Price. These look like they sell for about $15. And then um, this Vintage Guess Overalls. I guess the red triangle is something that gives away that it is um, vintage. And then I'll pop comps up for these. I also got this Levi's Type 1 jeans. All of these clothes, she said, were 5 for a dollar or 7 for a dollar. I don't know what she charged me, but I was good with $10 for the whole bag of stuff. These are also Levi's Tap Twills. These are size 3. These were just stuff I looked through at the very end of that video. You'll see a trailer. All these clothes were piled on this trailer. These are Levi Strauss. Um, I believe they're vintage. They're tough boot. And these are type 1. Size 14. This is a champion jacket. This one is duo dry. size large and then some American Eagle American Eagle jeans normally do good um, this stuff had it been more price wise I wouldn't have gotten it um, on field Reebok this is a child size though 14 to 16 it is Brett Favre so all of these were 20 cents or less a piece this just looked vintage and it is i'll pop the comp up there um the brand on this is preza it's a small not super popular but um let's take a look at what's in the rest of the bag all right so in the bag we have these just looked anything with like fancy stitching and stuff on the back i have not looked these up yet hopefully i'll have a comp up there for you guys though these are johnny girl never heard of that brand but yeah and then I did get this sheet and all of this still is about 20 cents a piece this is an old Tommy Hilfiger um, surfboard sheet I didn't look to find a size let's see if it says uh, 
it's a twin. So, still, I bet this will um, sell well for 20 cents. This just looked kind of vintage and retro. It might not be. It might just be made to look that way, but it is limo or limo usa size small it's just a little crocheted blanket there blanket crocheted jacket this is almost like leather woven in there so i thought that was cute um let's see this looked really vintage and some of this stuff sells like crazy um i don't know why but yeah so this is it um this one is Rock Creek, size 14, I'm assuming in women, so kind of a color block going on there. And then we got, these jeans are Playboy, I haven't ever sold Playboy jeans, they've got like the red stitching, um, once again for 20 cents, um, anything that I thought might sell, I grabbed. And then this is a leather vest. This is Vitchen of USA. So, not sure. I, I'll look these up. And then <laughs> Troy says to buy booty shorts. So, these are blue asphalt. They are little booty shorts. They are size 9. So, oh, I don't know that brand either. And then these are True Religion jeans. There's the back. Once again, 20 cents, which is crazy. These are size 29, made in the USA. I think these will do very well. And then I think this is the last thing. Um, these are some vintage Jordash jeans. Um, they're kind of like the mom style of jeans. And they are size... I don't know. If, I think that's 13, 14. Um, so, yeah. All of this stuff for 10 bucks. So, not too bad. Alright, guys. So, just to summarize up um, with the clothes, I... Looked for anything I felt like was a vintage or good brands. I think I got a lot of vintage. Let me know what you guys think about the clothes. I do have most of them listed. Most were over $20. Some were comping out at $30 or a little higher. I don't typically do clothes, but like at this yard sale, it was $5 for a dollar. They were $0.20 cents each, and I just thought they were some cool pieces. None were super hard to photograph, so... Yeah, um, I don't limit myself when it comes to sourcing. If I see really good deals, no matter what it is, I am going to get it. Um, I am going to try and kind of place myself on a little sourcing restriction. I do have to go tomorrow to pick up some stuff two hours away from an auction that I already won. And after that, I'm trying to just chill out till I get some of this stuff listed. Um because I have a lot. Um, it wasn't like a lot before, but between these two auctions, I won quite a bit. They only do them once a month, so hopefully before they start ending again, I will have listed most of this stuff, and I'm ignoring all of the other emails, and I do get them daily about auctions, just ones that I've been on in the past, or the same companies might have them going on with, um, like one company does them for multiple estate companies and they emailed me yesterday that there were three going on and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And I deleted it. So I really am trying to behave and um, yeah, <laughs> so I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to try and go through some of that auction haul a little bit more. And we only had a few things sell today. I'm not sure if I'll make a recording of that for a later video or not. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Dawson. You got a band-aid? <laughs>